What's up, YouTube family? CJ here with the Centipede Grass Channel. Still winter time, but uh, we are starting to warm up. And today, just want to make a quick video, go over some weeds that I'm starting to see in my area. Uh, maybe you're starting to see them in your area too. Uh, but we'll identify these, uh, maybe go over a few reasons why you may be seeing them, and a few cultural practices that you can do now and uh, into the spring next year to keep them from coming back. Let's go. So the first weed that we had today is hawk's beard. It's a part of the crepish family. Kind of looks like a dandelion with these uh, yellow flowers that it's producing. And you see it kind of turns into what we used to blow off at kids. But this is hawk's beard. Um, the leaves are also di different from dandelion. These right here grow in compacted wet soils. And I'm almost positive that this has a tap root. Yep. So it has a tap root, which is just a long singular root. Uh, anytime you see roots like this, it's mostly compacted soil. But again, these right here grow in moist, wet conditions. And they kind of resemble a dandelion, but they're part of the crepus family. And this is hawk's beard. Another weed here is sow thistle. It kind of re resembles the uh, hawk's beard. It does have this prickly leaves. It is a waxy green color. Um, and it also grows kind of in moist conditions, compacted soil. Um, sometimes, I guess as these mature, these leaves do get really sharp, so you may have to pull it up with gloves if you decide to pull it. But this is south thistle, growing in kind of a sparse areas along fences and things like that, where there isn't much grass, much competition. Uh, so another weed that we're seeing in this cooler weather as it that's starting to warm up. This is one that I'm actually seeing in the yard a lot. This is cudweed. It's kind of a grayish, greenish color uh, to be really light in some areas. Uh, it usually grows in like thin open turf. Uh, so I guess some of these spots that I'm seeing it are just thin turf in the grass. But again, this is cudweed and it is a winter annual. I didn't plan on doing this one, but I just saw it walking by. This is I don't know that all, all the technical names and all, but I know that this is vetch. I see it a lot. Uh, it gets v really invasive. So if you start seeing this, it's something you definitely want to start pulling up. They grow really tall. And I guess you can kind of tell like the leaves are like these little ellipses. But yeah, this string one here is vetch. This right here is pennywort. If you're seeing this, you have some pretty moist soil. It grows in clusters, it's invasive. And like I said, if you're saying this, you have some more soil, it's probably thin. Uh, you need some grass seeds and you need to stop watering your grass as much. Or if it's just really rainy and the area doesn't get a lot of sun, kind of one of those weeds that it is what it is. This is the dun 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 of the winter weeds. This is poa. Uh, as it warms up into the spring, it'll grow a white flower. You talking about evasive. It is very hard to get rid of. It is very hard to cut. When you cut it, it only frays. Uh, it'd be way too much to pull. And if you end up with poa, like I said, you have a problem on your hands. So again, poa, also known as uh, annual bluegrass. I think that this one that resembles the uh, hawk's beard and the thistle, I think that this is um, American Everlasting. I could be wrong on that one. Anybody know in the comments, definitely let me know. But I think that this weed uh, with the smoother edges and the fatter leaves are, uh, is American Everlasting. This right here is Bittercress. It also prefers cool, uh, moist soils. It will start to reduce as the temperatures increase. Uh, it is a winter annual. You'll see it a lot of time, like I said, in winter as it starts to warm up into spring. Um, so yep, that's winter bitter Chris. So you probably seen a ton of more weeds in your area or maybe even different weeds or similar weeds uh, in a different family or whatever the case may be. Uh, there are a ton of them. Those are just some of the ones that I see out here, uh, mainly in my area. Um, if you wanna get rid of weeds quickly, of course you gotta spray them. I don't agree with that. I have time to wait. So uh, if it's not too many, I'll pull them and I'll mulch them up. Um, but mostly uh, these weeds are annuals, so they kind of die off as the temperatures change and then new weeds take their place. Uh, but 
going forward, if you have a weed issue, it's best to oversee, thicken that line up um, to compete with the weeds. Weeds won't grow unless they have a place to grow. Uh, that's just the beauty of mother nature. If it's a bare spot, she's gonna fill it with something. So it's best that you fill it before she does. Uh, but yeah, if you have weeds, like I said, pull them um, and overseed and throughout the year, uh, if you want to use an organic fertilizer that kind of has a pre-emergent component in it as well, cornmeal is good, but you, you can't do that while you're putting out seeds because it'll keep the seeds from germinating. So uh, if you're seeing a bunch of weeds right now, the season's almost over. There'll be new weeds, uh, but during that transition period, you can overseed and thicken that line up and keep those weeds from coming. And uh, a lot of the places that I'm seeing weeds, is kind of like along fence lines and things that you kind of cut lower with a weed eater. Uh, so, you know, you can keep that grass a little higher, a little thicker there, maybe put some extra seeds in the areas that you're starting to see as problem areas and get that thickened up throughout the year to where next winter you don't have such a weed problem. Uh, besides that, you gotta handle it chemically uh, with either pre-emergent or a post-emergent uh, again, those are not things that I advocate, but hey, to each his own. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If there are some weeds that are growing in your area, post them down in the comments. Uh, let's get them identified. I know when I first started, I definitely want to know what all the weeds were. And I definitely like to go research, like, why are these weeds growing? I found a lot of times it's because of compaction issues or overwatering issues um, or even like pH issues, you know, actual chemistry in the soil. Uh, but, you know, weeds are actually a good sign to what's going on in the soil much more than they are just a pest. Uh, if they're growing, they're growing for a reason. And that reason, you know, can usually help you uh, better and improve your lawn. So if you have some weeds that, that, that are growing in your area that, that may be different than mine or that I may have missed, um, post them. Let's get them identified, you know, just to help the whole community out. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune in in two weeks. We'll have another video for you. Again, this is CJ with the Centipede Grass Channel. Peace.